this going to be for my water signs, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, for May 25th? For your dailies. Hope you guys have a great day today. Good vibes. Seeing for a lot of you, you're feeling very cheery and happy and on the bright side today. So let's keep it that way all weekend, shall we? All right. Oh, snap. Okay. <clears throat> so, Cancer, you guys have the Eight of Pentacles <clears throat> and the Ace of Cups reversed. So, I'm thinking that there was some kind of missed opportunity in love or you dissed an offer in love or... You just turned it down, you missed it, or you you didn't see it, or something like that. There was an offer of love, and it you just you let it go, you didn't see it, you were blind to it, or you just turned it down. Either way. And then with the Eight of Pentacles, it's like maybe you missed it because you're too busy working, or you're working too hard. Or maybe you missed the fact that somebody at work had a crush on you, or isn't secretly in love with you, and you're not seeing it. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm seeing. Could be somebody at work or somebody you work with. Um, if Even if you have multiple jobs, it's like you're not seeing that they, they have a crush on you or they're into you or they love you. You're They're probably giving you hints and you're not getting it because you're too busy focusing on work. Could be with the Cancer Scorpio Pisces or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Okay? Scorpio, you guys have the... High Priestess reversed, and the Ten of Cup. No, the Nine of Cup. Yeah, Ten of Cups reversed. I'm sorry. So wow. Okay, Scorpio. I'm seeing for some of you, you guys are not using your intuition correctly. You're not following your intuition. You have certain feelings, or you have like a gut feeling about something, but you're not following it. You're ignoring the signs that the universe is giving to you about this particular person or situation. Could be with the Cancer Scorpio Pisces or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And it's like, their spirit is telling you you're not expressing how you feel about this person or about the situation. Um, you're not expressing it or you're not really, you're not happy at all in this current relationship you're in or job or scenario, whatever it is. You, it's causing you a lot of pain and heartache. You're not emotionally fulfilled. It's not making you happy. And you're not following your gut or your intuition if it's telling you to leave or anything. You can flip this over. You can have your happiness. Just follow the voice within. Know yourself. Know thyself in order for you to fix this. Okay? Pisces, you guys have the will of fortune reversed with justice. So I'm seeing here that you're not letting something go, okay? You're not letting anything go in regards to, it could be law, it could be marriage, it could be divorce, it could be whatever it is. You could be dealing with a Aquarius Libra Gemini or a Leo or a Sag that you gain justice from something. You, you did. You got the strength and you gained justice for something or a situation. But I'm seeing here that with the Wheel of Fortune reversed, the cycle's not, it's not done yet. It's not ended yet. So in order for you to, or I'm seeing in order for you to get justice, in order for you to get justice, I'm seeing here that you have to complete a certain certain cycle or you need to learn a few things about it. Know the truth. 
get to the bottom of it in order for you to get justice, if that makes any sense. You know the truth about something, but you're not 100% sure. You don't want to just go out there and blur it. It's like you want to go to court for something and speak your truth, but the time hasn't come to do that or you're not, they're not going to give you the opportunity to do it, to get it. Or there's just too much to handle in this scenario that you're like, you're not too sure about. I'm seeing you're really confused about something. Or were confused and then it came to light and you got your justice. It can go either way. Okay, um, Water Signs, this was your May 25th daily. I will see you guys tomorrow. Namaste.